Okay, in this video we're going to show you now how to calculate and how to convert from grams to particles or particles to grams and it's going to be a two-step problem because we have to go through moles first. Okay? In a previous video I already showed you how to calculate just from grams to moles and moles to grams and then I also showed you another video how to calculate from particles to moles and moles to particles. But this time we're going to do the whole thing. We're going to go from grams to moles, or excuse me, from grams to particles, or particles to grams. You can see we have to go through moles first. Okay? So once again, let's read our problem, let's figure out what we've been given, what we're trying to find, and let's write it down. Okay. So how many molecules? That is how many, that is what we're trying to find. Now what have we been given? We've been given um, 175 grams of silicon dioxide. All right, so this is what we have been given. So now we know what we're trying to find and what we've been given. Now let's just write that down on our map up here. This is kind of our map. This tells us if we're here, this is what I tell my students, if we're here in Gramville and we want to go to Particleville, we have to go through Moleville. And you guessed it, the moles live in Moleville. So here we are, we're trying to find molecules. Molecules, particles, atoms, all the same thing in this case. We have grams, therefore we're in Gramville. This is what we've been given. This is what we're trying to find. So now we know we're in Gramville. We want to get to Particleville. We have to go through, that's right, in this case, Moleville. All right? Now, we wrote down our conversion factors here already. Here's our conversion factor for going from moles to particles, and here's our conversion factor from going from grams to moles. So we have been given grams. So we're just going to, as we have in all the pre previous videos, write down what we have been given. We have been given that we have 175 grams of SiO2. Now, we want to start in grams, we want to go to particles, we have to go through moles. In order to get two moles, we have to use our molar mass. Now, in a previous video, I showed you how to calculate molar masses. In this case, we're going to use silicon dioxide, and we know that one mole is equal to 60, just about 60 grams of silicon dioxide. That is the molar mass of silicon dioxide. That's our conversion factor. We're going to put that into our problem. Multiplication, division line, we have grams here. Here is our conversion factor. We know automatically if we have grams here, which we want to be able to cancel, that we can put grams on the bottom. We have grams on the bottom, grams on the top. One mole goes on the top of this fraction, and you can see that we can cancel. We can cancel. We're left with moles and we can see that we have 2.91 mole of silicon dioxide. Okay, that is step one. Step one was to go from grams to moles. Now we're here in Moleville, and we want to get to particles, so we have to do another conversion, and this time we're going to use this conversion factor. Now, this is our given in this case, so we have 2.91 moles, and we want to put this conversion factor into this fraction. Now we want to end up in particles. We have moles, we've been given moles, so therefore we know that automatically, without thinking about it, one mole goes on the bottom. Now of course you should be thinking about it a little bit. You do that so that this will cancel. The other part of our conversion factor goes on the top, and I'm going to put down particles, and I'm going to erase particles because silicon dioxide is a molecule, so I might as well put down molecules. And that is how we're going to do that math. We're going to take 2.91, we're going to multiply it times Avogadro's constant from our conversion factor, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, and we know that therefore we're going to have 1.75 times 10 to the 24th molecules of SiO2. Okay? 
So basically, we've done the same thing in all three videos. We wrote down what we've been given, what we wanted to find. We wrote down here what we've been given. We put in our conversion factor, come up with the answer. Now we have a new given. We wrote that down. We used our conversion factor. We had moles here, moles on the bottom, particles on the top, multiplied, and got our answer. Okay? It's just a few steps. Try to follow the steps, and I think you will be successful in going from grams to particles through Moleville. Okay? Thank you very much.